the Canon R10 Mark II, an eagerly anticipated addition to Canon's APS-C camera lineup, is expected to make its debut at the end of 2024. As the successor to the original Canon R10, the R10 Mark II is set to build upon its predecessor's strengths while incorporating new and improved features. However, early rumors suggest that the final specifications of the Canon R10 Mark II might depend heavily on Canon's competitors, particularly Sony. Canon is likely fine-tuning the R10 Mark II to ensure it remains a compelling choice for photographers and videographers alike. One of the key factors influencing Canon's decision-making for the R10 Mark II is the potential release of the Sony ZV-E10 Mark II. The Sony ZV-E10 Mark II feature a 26-megapixel sensor and video capabilities comparable to the Sony A6-7000, a camera that has impressed content creators with its strong performance in both still photography and video. If the rumors hold true, Canon plans to use the same 32.5-megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor found in the Canon R7 for the R10 Mark II. This would be a significant upgrade from the original R10's 24.2-megapixel sensor, offering higher resolution and improved image quality. The Canon R7's sensor is known for its sharpness, dynamic range, and overall performance, so its inclusion in the R10 Mark II would certainly enhance the camera's appeal. The Canon R10 Mark II is also rumored to feature Canon's dual-pixel CMOS AF2, a highly regarded autofocus system that offers fast and accurate focus performance. Dual Pixel CMOS AF2 has been a staple in Canon's recent cameras, delivering excellent tracking and focus locking abilities, even in challenging conditions. This autofocus system would greatly benefit both photographers and videographers, particularly those working in fast paced environments such as sports or wildlife photography. The ability to reliably track moving subjects and maintain focus is crucial in these scenarios, and the R10 Mark II is expected to excel in this regard. For video enthusiasts, the Canon R10 Mark II is expected to support 4K video recording at up to 60 frames per second with 10-bit color depth. This would be a notable improvement over the original R10, which offered 4K video but with limitations in frame rate and color depth. The ability to shoot in 4K 60-10-bit will allow videographers to capture higher quality footage with smoother motion and greater color accuracy. The inclusion of HDRPQ support for high dynamic range footage is another exciting possibility, though the absence of log profiles might limit some users who prefer more flexibility in post-production color grading. In terms of display and viewfinder technology, the Canon R10 Mark II is expected to include a 2.36 million dot OLED electronic viewfinder and a 1.6 million dot very angle touchscreen LCD. The OLED EVF will provide a bright and detailed view of the scene, making it easier to compose shots in various lighting conditions. One of the most exciting rumored features of the Canon R10 Mark II is sensor shift 5-axis image stabilization. This technology helps reduce camera shake, resulting in sharper images and smoother video footage, particularly when shooting handheld. For content creators who often work without the aid of a tripod or gimbal, built-in image stabilization can be a game-changer. Despite its many advanced features, the Canon R10 Mark II is expected to maintain a relatively compact and lightweight design, much like its predecessor. This portability makes it an appealing option for photographers who need a travel-friendly camera without compromising on performance. However, some may be disappointed to learn that the R10 Mark II is rumored to have only a single SD card slot, which could be a limitation for professional photographers who prefer dual card slots for redundancy and backup purposes. The ability to quickly share images and videos on the go is becoming increasingly important in today's digital landscape and the R10 Mark II is expected to deliver in this regard. Whether you're a photographer, videographer, or content creator, the Canon R10 Mark II has the potential to be a versatile and powerful tool. With its expected release in late 2024, it will be interesting to see how the final product stacks up against its competition, particularly from Sony. If Canon delivers on the rumored specifications, 
the R10 Mark II could become one of the top APS-C cameras on the market, catering to a wide range of users from enthusiasts to professionals. Sony recently unveiled its latest breakthrough in sensor technology, the 247 megapixel IMX811 AQR medium format sensor designed for imaging applications. This sensor's remarkable resolution far exceeds what most current digital cameras offer, with an astonishing 247 million effective pixels. Such a high pixel count suggests the ability to capture incredibly detailed photos and images. But what exactly makes this new Sony sensor so special, and how could it potentially impact photography and other fields? Let's dive into its key features and specifications to better understand its capabilities and future implications. The most notable feature of the Sony IMX811 AQR sensor is its massive resolution. With 247 million effective pixels, it offers far more detail than even the highest-end digital cameras currently on the market. For perspective, most top-tier DSLRs and mirrorless cameras peak at around 45 to 50 megapixels. This sensor blows those numbers out of the water, making it an incredibly powerful tool for capturing fine details. From tiny textures and subtle color variations to minute elements within a scene, this sensor records everything with extraordinary precision. For photographers and visual artists, this level of detail can provide an unmatched opportunity to bring their vision to life with stunning clarity. Every intricate aspect of an image will be captured, offering a final product with lifelike realism. Whether you're shooting landscapes, portraits, or industrial scenes, the creative possibilities offered by such a high-resolution sensor are immense. While resolution is the IMX811 AQR's standout feature, it also impresses in other areas. Despite its incredible pixel count, Sony has engineered the sensor to maintain a respectable readout speed of 5.3 frames per second in full pixel mode. While this speed may not seem fast compared to other high-speed cameras, it's important to remember that processing 247 million pixels per frame is a serious engineering feat. The ability to achieve this speed without sacrificing image quality highlights the sensor's advanced design. Additionally, the IMX811 AQR sensor will be available in both color and monochrome versions, catering to a range of different needs. Photographers may prefer the color version for its incredible fidelity, while the monochrome variant could be of particular interest for scientific and industrial applications that require high contrast and sharpness. Imagine capturing landscapes with hyper-realistic detail, where every blade of grass or tiny feature in a scene is rendered with perfect clarity. Portrait photography could also benefit immensely, capturing skin textures and facial details that make each subject uniquely distinct. The creative potential of such a sensor in the hands of professional photographers is mind-blowing. The existence of a 247 megapixel sensor suggests that the future of imaging will continue to evolve toward higher resolutions and more detailed image capture. This breakthrough could inspire Sony's competitors to push their technology further, leading to new innovations and advancements across the industry. For now, the IMX811 AQR serves as an exciting glimpse into what the future of imaging might look like. While the Sony IMX811 AQR may not be suitable for every type of photography, its incredible resolution and advanced specifications make it an exciting development in the world of sensors. Whether you're a photographer, a scientist, or someone working in industrial imaging, the ability to capture such fine detail could elevate your work to new levels. What are your thoughts on this new 247 megapixel sensor? Share your views in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the latest in photography and technology.